Hello, I am Vera Velasco and I am the Senior Research Associate for Growth Facilities at University of Toronto in Mississauga. Today, I'll show you how to measure soil pH using XTEX XTIC pH 100 pH meter. Soil pH is a measure of the acidity or basicity of a soil and is determined through quantification of hydrogen ion activity. Many factors affect soil pH. Minerals present in the soil and organisms living in the soil have the capacity to influence soil pH. Plant roots can also pollinate soils. An ideal soil pH for many plants is between 5 to 7, where important nutrients are soluble and can be readily absorbed by plant roots. We will need the following pH meter with electrode attached. We also need calibration standards and Cuba TTM. Research greenhouse, we have pH 4, 7, and 10 available. We will need a wash beaker, and this is just any beaker. We also need distilled water in a wash bottle. We need chem wipes and a pair of gloves. Take the pH meter and carefully remove the green cap. Turn it on and then clean the electrode using distilled water and wipe it dry with Kim wipes. Inspect the bottom of the electrode. You will notice an air bubble through the glass, but it should not be broken. There shouldn't be any cracks. This glass in the pH module is easily broken, so make sure to handle it with care. Before you measure the pH of your soil, you have to make sure that your equipment is well calibrated. To calibrate this pH meter, we will use aliquots of pH 4, 7, and 10 standards. Soak pH module in pH 4 solution and then press Cal. The pH should read 4 after a few seconds. Wait until the display reads N. Rinse and dry the pH module before dipping it into pH 7 solution. Press Cal once again, wait until the pH value on display is stable, and then also wait for the display to show end. Rinse and dry the pH module and then move it into pH 10 solution. Press Cal. This is the last standard solution that you will be using. And so when you see end on display, this means calibration is complete. And yes, Please clean the pH module by rinsing it with distilled water and drying it with a thin wipe. Now we are ready to measure the pH of soils. Here I have three pots, but I will only show you how to measure the pH of the second pot, which contains one part pro mix soil mix and one part 1% 1 of 2020 20, 20 NPK fertilizer in distilled water. Like in calibration, you need to make sure that your pH module is clean. You need to make sure that your pH module is not broken. You also need to make sure that your soil is moist. This doesn't work with dry soil. Then, 
fully bury the tip of the clean pH module into the soil. Wait for the pH value to blink and then stabilize. The number on display is the pH of your soil. This may take a few seconds to a few minutes. The pH reading for this soil is 6.0, which tells us that this soil is ideal for growth of most plants. Once you are done, please make sure to clean after yourself. Thank you for watching this video. If you have more questions, please email us at utm.rgh at utoronto.ca. To learn more about the available equipment at UTM growth facilities, please visit us at utm.utoronto.ca slash growth facilities slash protocols slash equipment. Thank you.